Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. What a great Monday morning we have today. Do you know, I want to tell you that we are never alone. There are some times when you feel like we're walking alone, um, even if you're married or if you're single or uh, if you have friends or family around you, sometimes you feel alone in different circumstances in our life. But I want you to know God never left us alone. When he went to heaven after he rose from the dead, he left us his Holy Spirit. So we are co-laborers with God. That's what the Word of God says in 1 Corinthians 3, 9. He left us with His Holy Spirit. We are supposed to be co-laborers, working together. You see, when we work together with Christ and the Holy Spirit in us, that He is bringing to that situation His creative power in your life to change any circumstances, to change you, to give you help, to give you joy, to give you encouragement. It's not you alone praying. It's you and God praying. We are co-laborers. That's what he called us to be. You know, this was his plan all along. And Adam and Eve, when he set Adam and Eve in the garden, he took Adam aside. He said, Adam, listen, I want you to go and name all these animals. Name all the, all the animals and what they do. You know, God knew all the animals' names. He also knew what they did and how they were created because he created them. But instead of just doing it all by himself, he wanted Adam to co-labor with him. Esther did the same thing. She co-labored with, with all of her nation, the Jewish nation, to fast and pray. That's co-laboring. And every time you're in with Christ and you're praying, you're praying with God, you are co-laboring. You are partnering up with God to make something happen in your life. So you can no longer say, well, God is in control because yes, he is in control, but you are co-partners speaking the word into that situation. That's how you be a co-laborer. So when he asks, well, how do I be a co-laborer? There's a few things that we need to realize we're partnering up with Christ. And the first thing is prayer. We have to realize that you pray, the Holy Spirit is praying in you. The second thing is reading the Word of God over every situation in your life that, that you want changed, every, every bondage you want broken, every, every thing in your life that you need to take control of. You pray over that with God's Word, and that brings creative power to the circumstances. God will do it, but He does it through us. He does it through our words. He does it through our faith. And he will come in with his creative power and start changing all the circumstances around. And yes, sometimes it takes longer than others, but that's why he gave us patience and faith and love and mercy. So co-labor with Christ. Don't just say, well, you know, it's in God's hands now because it's not. You are co-laborers. That means it's in both of your hands. Am I doing all that I can do in prayer? Am I doing all I can do in speaking the word? Let me pray for you if you realize now that you have a partner in prayer. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit living in you. Let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I know that I am co-laboring with you. And I come to you, Lord God, for the situation where I'm, I'm sick and where my finances are, are bad, where I'm discouraged, where I'm depressed, where I feel unloved and worthless. And I'm partnering up with you, Lord God, to put your creative power, your dunamis power in my life, in my situation, because I'm going to speak your word that says in Jesus' name that I am healed and I am whole by his stripes. I'm going to speak your word that says it is I who causes you to get rich that I might establish my covenant with you, Deuteronomy 8, 18. So yes, God wants you to be co-labored with him. Work with God in every situation. You're never alone, and you always have a prayer partner. Amen and amen. And go out and make this a very blessed day in the Lord, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Remember, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, share me with someone, and I'm on Instagram too. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.